We all know that not all heroes wear capes. You don't need to be Batman to do a good deed and help someone out. But some people really are superheroes, even if they're just walking about in their regular clothes leading a otherwise regular life. From the confused soldier who did his duty anyway, to the real life Superman who saved a baby from a terrible fate. Here's 20 real life superheroes caught on camera saving people. <sighs> Number 20. Russian soldier movie scene confused with real life and acts to save woman. Here, we see a scene from a Russian movie. The premise, a crazed grabbed a female hostage outside of a military base, and he wants access to nuclear weapons or the lady gets it. Exciting drama, especially when you add in two Russian FBI style guys who have their weapons trained on the It's a standoff. How will this situation be solved and the woman saved? Well, it turns out in an unexpected plot twist, a real life soldier bursts from the base, risking everything to disarm the and save the girl. Only, he didn't realize it was a movie. You can see how confused the guy was when the people came towards him, but he stood up and put his arms in their way to protect the girl. Good man. In a lot of movie productions, they'll use signs, flyers, and even Facebook posts to let people know what's going on while they're shooting the movie. But since they didn't do that, the soldier had no idea it was a fake. He thought it was a real thing, and he tried to do something about it. Even though no one needed saving, this guy is a hero, and the actor should be thankful that the soldier didn't cut his throat or something else. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Molly and Hero scales Paris building to save child. People in Paris are calling a man from the West African country of Mali a hero because he climbed up to a fourth floor balcony to save a boy who was hanging dangerously from it. President Emmanuel Macron gave Mamadou Gassama special treatment at the Alize Palace. He also gave him French citizenship, which was what he'd been hoping for when he moved to France in the first place. The scene took place in a northern suburb of Paris, and a video of it ended up going viral in French media. Gassama was hanging out and watching a soccer game when he heard yelling and car horns nearby. He went over to see what was going on. He saw that people were freaking out because a small child was hanging off a balcony and he knew that he had to do something. He told Macron, I did not really think, I started climbing directly. As I went up, I felt more and more sure of myself. Within a minute, he had the child in his arms and he was taking it to safety before help from the police or the fire department could even arrive. Bravo, he was told by the president. Number 18. Good Samaritan smashed truck windows of driver who passed out. This is the moment when people came together to help a man in his truck who was having a medical emergency. Dramatic video shows people stopping their own cars after running a truck whose driver was slumped over the steering wheel as it slowly drove down the Atlanta interstate. Good Samaritans tried to break the truck's windows and help the driver by using a sledgehammer, a car jack, and even a baby stroller. First, the people trying to help tried to get the driver to roll down the window. When that didn't work, they tried to break the windows to get in. Some drivers thought it was road rage when they saw people break into a truck with tire irons, sledgehammers, and the baby stroller. Jordan Carter, who was one of the people trying to help and also filming the event, got out of her car to help the driver. Jelani Campbell also helped save the man by jumping on the back of the truck and using a sledgehammer to break the window in the back so he could get to the door. While the ambulance was on its way, the Good Samaritans talked to the man's wife to let her know that he was going to the hospital. The man, whose name wasn't released publicly, got better after the stay in the hospital. Number 17. Neighbors save man's life after massive heart attack. 
This viral video shows a man having a heart attack, ringing the doorbell of his neighbors. The quick-thinking neighbor did CPR on him right away. This saved his life. From Christopher Mowry's home surveillance camera, they can see that their neighbor walks up to the porch, looks unwell, rings the doorbell, and then lies down. Another neighbor comes running over to help. Mowry, who's a firefighter, and his wife, who's a nurse, came out of their house and called 911 before starting CPR on the man, who was having a heart attack. When the EMTs got to the scene, Mowry's wife went with them to help take the patient to the hospital. More photos and videos show that that neighbor came back to their house a few days later to thank them for helping. Mowry wrote on Facebook about how important it is to know CPR and how to use a defibrillator. He also said that he and his wife would set up a CPR class for the whole neighborhood. Number 16. Heroic Man Catches Falling Toddler in China People are calling this man a hero after a video of him saving a toddler's life went viral online. The video shows how the man catches the kid as he falls from a building. What a drama! The event happened in the eastern part of China. The video was put up on Twitter by Li Jian Zhao, who's a government official. He tweeted the video with the words, Heroes Among Us. Damn, that's definitely true. The clip starts with a man running with a woman toward a building while talking on the phone. A few seconds later though, he throws his phone aside and reaches up to catch the girl. The man, named Shen Dong, first heard a loud bang coming from the building. Then he realized it was caused by a two-year-old girl who fell off her apartment balcony and hit the steel roof of the building. The little girl then fell from there, but a man caught her before she hit the ground. The child was taken to the hospital immediately. She hurt herself a bit, but the girl is now fine. To be honest, I cannot remember the details. I cannot remember if my arms hurt or anything. It was just instinct to reach out to her, Shen said. Number 15. Security guard leaps over barrier to rescue toddler from escalator in China. Staying in China, this country is showing it's got tons of superheroes. In this case, a security guard at a train station in Hubei province in central China was caught on camera jumping over a barrier just before a toddler fell down an escalator. That security guard is truly a hero. He could have tripped and fallen, but he didn't think twice about helping the little boy. I'm glad the kid's parents gave him this awesome banner to say thanks. Some people might think that it's a simple move, but he jumped off a moving escalator when he could have easily slipped and broken something. He put himself in harm's way to help the boy. I really admire that man. Escalators in China have a pretty bad rap. For example, a man from Shanghai lost a leg in August of 2015 when an escalator in a shopping mall broke. A woman in the city of Hubei had died horrifically a few weeks earlier when an escalator step gave way under her feet. But for some context, it's not like this happens all the time over there. It just kind of looks like that on the internet. We're talking about stuff from 2015 and there's a whole lot of escalators escalators and a whole lot of people, so you're probably good if it doesn't look extraordinarily sketchy, probably. Number 14. Heroic Man Saves Young Boy From Oncoming Train in India An Indian railway worker went viral on the internet after he saved the life of a little boy who fell on the tracks. Now he's being praised again because he gave this boy's family some of the money that the Ministry of Railways gave him as a reward. Even though he has his own family to take care of, when 30-year-old Meyer Schelke was given $666 by the ministry in a special ceremony, he decided to donate half of it to the education of the child that he saved. I'll give half of the amount given to me as a token of appreciation for that child's welfare and education. Shelk told the people at the ceremony. I found out that his family doesn't have much money, so I made this choice. When word got out about Shelk's latest act of kindness, his name started trending again on social media, and many people praised his kindness and good spirit. Shelk saw the six-year-old boy fall in front of a train, and he did what came naturally. I ran toward the child, but I was also afraid for myself. Still, I thought I should help him. Shelk said. The woman who was with the child couldn't see. She was helpless. As a new dad himself, Shelk felt that he had to do something. He went on to say, The child who slipped and fell is also someone's precious child. And now he'll grow up knowing how much kind a stranger can do for you. Number 13. Man jumps fence to save drowning four-year-old boy. 
After saving her four-year-old son from drowning, a neighbor in Lawrence, Kansas, is being called an angel by the boy's mother. Alexis Rigney was caring for her baby daughter when her autistic, nonverbal brother Xavier wandered outside the pool at their apartment complex. In a scary surveillance video, Xavier can be seen taking one step into the pool before he's completely submerged. He keeps trying to pull himself up, but it doesn't work. Minutes later, neighbor Tom Westerhouse walks into the frame and is shown giving CPR to the little boy, who officials say had been underwater for 3 minutes 22 seconds. The 12-year-old son of Westerhouse, Maddox, saw that Xavier was in trouble and told his dad. Westerhouse, who used to be a lifeguard, then jumped the fence, pulled Xavier out of the water, and started chest compressions to save his life. Right after Rigney realized that Xavier was gone, she heard sirens and went outside to see what was happening. Rigney said she is sure that Xavier would have died if not for Westerhouse. Since the scary event happened, Rigney has put alarms on the doors of her apartment. She said that Xavier is doing great and is back to normal. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death for children between the ages of 1 and 4. The Consumer Product Safety Commission said that about 300 children younger than 5 die of drowning in pools each year. So you really have to watch them when there's a pool nearby, all the time. Luckily, this young kid was being watched by a guardian angel neighbor. Number 12. Deputy saves unresponsive baby by performing CPR in Oregon Mall. In this clip, deputies got a very important call from the town center. Audrey Harmon, who was only a week old, had stopped breathing in the photo studio at J.C. Penney. Deputy Zach Karkey, Deputy Olson, and Deputy Russell all ran through the mall to get to the portrait studio. Baby Audrey was pale and not making any sound. The police think that she could have choked on liquids. The parents were absolutely terrified and hopeless. The mother called 911 while the father and a few good Samaritans tried CPR on the baby and helped the parents. Deputy Zachary pushed the baby's chest while Deputy Olson used his finger to check the baby's airway. Audrey's head was held steady by Deputy Russell, who kept her neck arched and her airway open. Audrey was turned over on her stomach and given a burping chest pat to get the fluid out of the baby's airways. After turning Aubrey back over, they then used a bulbous nose sucker to get fluid out of the baby's nose. About two minutes after that, paramedics from Clackamas Fire Department arrived on the scene and took over CPR. Little Audrey had to spend some time in intensive care, but her condition was stable and in the end, she was saved by these brave men. Number 11. Quick Thinking Nanny Saves Baby Seconds Before Ceiling Collapses Onto Its Crib A maid acted bravely to save a baby just before the ceiling of the living room suddenly fell during a terrifying and sudden earthquake. The video shows the scary moment when a woman runs into a room and quickly grabs the baby from its crib. Before she runs out of the room, you can see her pick up the baby and wrap it in a blanket. Another woman waits at the door and holds it open for him so they can get out. Moments after they run to safety and leave the door open, the ceiling falls and the baby's cot falls over. The living room is full of broken furniture and plaster, and there's light bulbs hanging from the wreckage. The brave woman who saved the baby was probably a housemaid because she was wearing a white uniform. The details of the video aren't clear, but there's no doubt that this was a real act of courage. It must have been a strong earthquake, one that would have made someone get everyone out and leave with only seconds to spare. Number 10. Amazing real-life superhero rescues kids from house fire. Our next Good Samaritan saved a toddler and a little girl from a house that was on fire, just like a real-life superhero. A police officer in Mesa, Arizona can be seen on camera throwing rocks at the window of a burning house to break it open. As the officer tried to figure out how to get to the kids inside, they could be heard screaming. And then out of nowhere, a man showed up. Like Spider-Man, the man jumped over a fence, stood on an air conditioner, and pulled out the window frame with his bare hands. Pretty soon the kids were being lifted out and into safety by this hero. His true good intentions are shown by the fact that he didn't want to be identified. People use the word hero a lot these days, but that guy really deserves it. That's probably the best rescue I've ever seen. It takes a lot of courage for a civilian to step up and go in like that without any special equipment. The air to the apartment would have been so hot and thick that it was impossible to breathe. He saved two young lives that day. He did what no one else was able to do, and there's no doubt that he's a hero. 
Number 9. Bus Driver Saves Two Children Wandering Alone in Bitter Cold One morning in Waukesha, Wisconsin, it was 18 degrees Fahrenheit and snowing when Nicole Chamberlain, a bus driver, saw two kids walking along the road. The little girl was only wearing a t-shirt and diaper and neither of them had a coat on, Chamberlain said. They were walking towards a busy intersection and I knew that there was no school bus stop or school down there, so I knew I had to stop and help them right away. Chamberlain got off the bus when it stopped, called the kids over and asked, what's going on? They said, we're looking for grandma. I said, come with me, I'm gonna put you on the warm bus and help you find grandma. She picked up the two-year-old girl and helped her brother, who was six, get on the bus. Then she called the police. Chamberlain took off her coat to cover the toddler's bare legs and a camera on the bus caught it. Within minutes, the kid's grateful grandma showed up at the bus stop and told the police that the boy went outside with his sister while she was in the basement. The police said that neither child was hurt and they don't plan to press charges, but it goes to show that you can't let kids that age out of your sight for even a minute. Number 8. Hero Dad Saves Family from Flood in Pennsylvania Now we head to Pennsylvania where this very dangerous water rescue was caught on video. As the floodwaters kept rising, four strangers who turned out to be good Samaritans saved a father and his four kids from a car that was sinking. In the video, which was shot outside of Philadelphia, it's truly scary and it shows how brave regular people can be. Dan DeGregorio, one of the four strangers who rushed in to help, said, You can see how strong the river is, and it's pulling them away. Honestly, out of nowhere, this backhoe comes around the corner and we immediately started screaming at the guy driving it. At that point, the group came to help. We're yelling at the dad, who's now about 15 feet away from the car with his baby in his arms. He's almost going under. So we tell him, get back to the car, DeGregorio says. The four strangers held each other's belts and made a human chain to get the family members out one by one. DeGregorio was able to grab the oldest child by the wrist and keep him from getting away. Even last night, I couldn't sleep because I could still hear the fear in his eyes as I'm holding on to them, he said. Because if I let go, he's gone. We were all very lucky. I mean, it wasn't smart by any of us, but it was something that had to be done quickly. Number 7. Dad thanks hero who saved his daughter after she was snatched by a sea lion. After going to the coast with her grandfather, a young girl had a terrifying experience. When the girl sat down on a small wall next to the water, a seal pulled her into the water. Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! The video was shot at Stevenson Fisherman's Wharf in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. Michael Fujiwara, who's thought to have filmed what happened, said that the girl's family and other people helped her and that no one was hurt. But it's not surprising that the little girl was a little scared. She can be heard calling out, Grandpa! Grandpa! And he can be heard telling her, Don't worry! Don't worry! There's no need to be scared! In an interview, Robert Kaisman, the chairman of Stevenson Harbor Authority, said that there are many signs at the harbor telling people not to feed these animals. A port official said that the family was stupid because they fed the animal even though there were signs telling people not to do that. However, the girl's father said that no one in his family was trying to get the animal's attention and it was just a random occurrence. Number 6. Firefighters use risky rope rescue to save trapped women. This woman, who was caught on camera hanging 20 stories above the ground during a fire in a New York City high-rise, has spoken about how firefighters saved her life. At around 10.30 a.m. Saturday, a three-alarm fire started in the building at 429 East 52nd Street in Manhattan. Firefighters were sent to the scene right away, and when they got there, they had to do two rope rescues that FDNY chiefs called high-risk, last-ditch efforts. Christina Foti was sleeping on the 20th floor when the fire broke out. One of the firefighters woke her up and saved her life. Patty Ryan, who was just watching, took the heart-stopping video of the rescue. In the video, Mrs. Foti is seen holding onto her windowsill as smoke quickly fills her apartment. Mrs. Foti hung out the window for at least five minutes before firefighters were able to carry out the high-drama, high-rise rescue. At least 16 people were saved by brave firefighters who climbed up on ladders and saved them all. There were 38 people hurt in the fire, and five firefighters were among them. Two of the 
adults had severe smoke inhalation, and five others were in serious condition. The fire was caused by an explosion in a lithium battery of an e-bike, but luckily these firefighters, and especially this woman, will ride again thanks to some incredible bravery. There's a reason everybody loves firefighters. Number 5. Brave bodybuilder rescues woman from sinking car. It's the right thing to do. When a woman's car fell into the Passaic River, a man from New Jersey jumped in to save her without hesitation. Jason Moss jumped into a river to save a 50-year-old woman from her sinking SUV. Someone yelled that there was a car in the river while Moss was in a nearby parking lot. Then he drove across the bridge right away to save the woman. He didn't think twice before he jumped into the water. Moss was seen on a cell phone video trying to open the door of the car. Water was filling the SUV, so he had to move quickly. The woman's SUV went over a small curb and ended up in the water. The woman would have drowned if Moss hadn't helped her. Moss said, Gave it everything I had, put my foot on the door for leverage, and just pulled it open as hard as I could. It started to sink, I pulled her out, and cops came at that time. Number 4. Basketball coach saves choking teen. A high school student started choking during lunch and thanked his school's basketball coach for coming to his aid. The video shows that Coach Huser was eating lunch. Riley Kelly, a freshman in high school, had just taken a bite of a cheeseburger when he realized that something wasn't right. Mmm, cheeseburger is difficult level food for a freshman, I get it. No one at the table seemed to notice when he grabbed his throat in panic. He tried to drink milk to wash the blockage down, but it didn't help. Then finally, the students asked for help. Huser jumped up and gave Kelly the Heimlich maneuver immediately. In situations like that, every second counts. With a few good pushes, the piece of cheeseburger came out. Kelly says that he's thankful to the coach that he'd never met before. Huser says he's not a hero. He's just glad that Kelly is still there for lunch. Kelly says that he's been in a similar situation before, where something got stuck in his throat, but 9 times out of 10 he was able to get it out. He was lucky that Huser was there this time, which was the 1 out of 10, I guess. I'd like to suggest that Kelly's family all learn the Heimlich maneuver immediately. Number 3. Neighbors help rescue sleeping mom from fire nearby. Ty Byers of Mesa did everything he could to let Gladys Castaneda and her family know that the house next to theirs was on fire, and they needed to get to safety. A quick-thinking man in Arizona is now being called a hero because he was the one who warned the family that their house was on fire. I started pounding on the windows, on the windows like that, and yelling and screaming, Byers said. I honestly thought someone was breaking in my house, Castaneda said of the noise that Byers was making to alert her to the impeding danger. The mother of two girls jumped into action and gave Byers one of her daughters. Byers carried her to safety and then ran back to get the other child. He then came back a third time to check on Castaneda. Byers and Castaneda are now sure that they will always be friends. Number 2. Teen Girl and Her Dog Rescued from Flooded Rooftop Chloe Adams woke up from a bad dream. Water was pouring out of the bathroom drains, bubbling up through the tiles in the kitchen, and quickly encircling her home. Chloe, who lives with her grandfather in Whitesburg, Kentucky, was by herself with only her dog Sandy, who's been with her since she was a toddler and whom she trusts like no one else. Heavy rains and widespread flooding in eastern Kentucky that night killed at least 25 people and took everything away from hundreds of others. Chloe's grandparents were in a house just a few yards away, but the fast-moving water kept them from seeing their granddaughter when the sudden terrifying flood woke everyone up. They yelled at Chloe and told her to stay inside until help came. But Chloe said she knew she had to leave because she had no cell service to call 911. After trying other pieces of furniture, Chloe put her dog inside a plastic drawer from her closet to keep her dry. She then put the drawer on a sofa cushion to keep the dog afloat. She swam through the cold water, pushing Sandy's cushion in front of her until she reached the thin roof of a nearby storage building, which was the only part of the building that was still above water. There, Chloe and her dog sat for more than five hours until Chloe Chloe's cousin came to their rescue in a kayak. While Chloe waited for help, her family, who were trapped on the second floor of her uncle's house, kept an eye on her and talked to her. When the teen got back to her grandmother's house, she cried. I was so happy that Sandy and I made it through the flood, she said. Aw, us too. Number 1. Commuters push train to save trapped man in Perth. 
Here's an exciting story from Australia, from the city of Perth. CCTV shows people getting on a train in a pretty normal way, except for one man who trips and gets his leg stuck between the train and the platform. You know that voice on most metro trains that tells you to watch out for the space between the train and the platform? Yeah, this is the reason for that. So the man must have been terrified, but his fellow passengers rushed to help him immediately. One person called the guard, and the other person tries to help the man get out. At that moment, there were only three or four people there, but soon commuters arrived. These Aussies know that they can free this poor man if they all work together. So, as a group, they all put their hands on the train and start to push. This makes the train lean back and let the gap get bigger, which finally lets the man out. Goes to show what teamwork can do. Good on you, mates. How would you react if you were in one of these situations? How can we reward these amazing heroes? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.